graduation this year, Scott Dill will be the first Iowa City High School student to donate two gallons of blood. He will graduate with a double red cord, an award that symbolizes the donation of two gallons of blood. Yeah, so um, I started off donating, I was la it was last year, and um, there was a blood drive here at Liberty, and I thought it would be a good thing to do. I kind of signed up last minute just because I had some free time, and I really liked the rewarding feeling um, from after. Scott doesn't just donate for the cord. He has good reasons behind it. My brother ended up getting sick, um, really sick. He was in the ER for uh, like a month, and um, I got to experience being a family member inside the hospital, and and it, it sucks. My brother, he had he had blood clots in his brain, lung, and arm, and um, so yeah, again, just I was I was just a family member, you know. Sit, sit in the, um, the ICU, the intensive care unit, just um, and and knowing that there's nothing I can do to help besides be there for moral support, is it just it kind of a it it doesn't feel good. So Sorry. I wouldn't really wish that on anybody. And donating is a big thing that can help a lot of the other families. So that's if if there's something I could do, I really wanted to help. If you are looking to help out a good cause, blood donation is super easy. Yep. So um, you go to um, DeGallon, which is inside the University Hospital. Um, it's just a really short drive from Liberty, actually. It's about 15 minutes. And um, you go there, they, they take you into a room, and you fill out, like, they give you an iPad, and you just answer yes or no questions. They're, all, they're pretty common sense and easy questions. Um, like, have you been outside the country? And if so, where? But um, if you have, they just want you to elaborate on it so they, um, they know what to test you for. You have to be over 110 pounds, and then your blood has to qualify. Um, they only really check you for HIV uh, in terms of checking your actual blood, but they also check like your blood pressure, your hematocrit, your hemoglobin, and um, that kind of stuff. Just, and it's, it's a very low line to be able to donate. So, um, most people qualify, but, um, I know a lot of people, they, they, they just get scared out about donating because, um, a needle, you know, um, it's not, it's not, it's not as big of a deal as you think it is. Um, especially if you do it more than once, it just becomes routine. And, um, as I mean, if, if it bothers you, just don't look at it. It's just a, it's like a one second pain and. You, you feel pretty good afterwards for the most part. What do you like most about SLAP? For me, I mostly really enjoy the friendships that I've made doing it. Um, it's just a really fun experience and I've gotten to, lot of gotten to know a lot of people that I wouldn't have otherwise probably talked to. And that feels really good to know that you've sort of brought somebody into theater that really wasn't into it before. Uh, how does SLAP get funding? Um, we mostly are self-funded. We started getting, we started the process to sort of work with Liberty Fund to get some funding, but for the most part, um, most of the money that we put into scripts and stuff comes from actual ticket sales. What's the biggest difference between SLAP and LLT? I think that SLAP is a lot more of a relaxed environment, like we're still putting on a show, we still have like pressures and deadlines, but um, I think it's just a lot more fun for me a lot of the time to work with, work so closely with my peers and really to get an, a chance for me to direct is a lot different than what I would get to do in LLT. Yeah, if you just are interested at all, I encourage you to sign up. It's not super high pressure. Um, and it's a lot smaller than the regular theater program, so really there's less competition. And it's just a lot of fun. I think everybody should give it a try if they're even interested in theater at all. Scarlett Martin is a Western Liberty High swimmer and she's currently ranked number one in the state of Iowa. 
Uh, what's the most important thing that you think you've accomplished throughout your swimming career? Um, just becoming the swimmer I am today and being able to like improve and like keep going and pushing myself. Mm -hmm. uh, what are you most proud of from this past season? Um, I'm really proud of, like this this like season last. I've been faster than what I was last season which means mm -hmm. I've been improving and that really makes me excited for state and to see what I can do. Uh, what do you look forward in terms of your swimming career? Um, right now I'm looking forward to state and hoping maybe to win and in the long term probably like getting recruited and being able to swim in college. Scarlett has certainly reached her goal of winning state this year by getting first place in the 200 meter individual medley race. Well, the team like is like family, like we create a really tight bond, so like we're always there for each other like through the ups and downs and it's just like a really great environment. Mm. All right, well, thank you for sitting down for the interview. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Now that the fall sports season is over, LTV would like to give you some of our greatest successes from the 2019-2020 year. Boys varsity football ended their season with a record of 7-3 after making it to the state playoffs. The boys fell to the Solon Spartans with a score of 7-14, making it to the playoffs in only the fourth season. Coach Gordon said, I'm extremely proud of the original Bolts for building the culture of not only the football program, but for the entire school. Max DeFoya, Jr. says, In our upcoming season, I hope we win a state title. Liberty Girls Cross Country sent three girls to state this year. Ashlyn Keeney, Camille Mack, Kenzie Logan all qualified for state as individuals. Girls Cross Country coach Tanya McDonough said, Our 2019 season was our best yet, in just our third year. In the program, they returned nine varsity letter winners and for the first time had members representing all four classes. Ashlyn Keeney had a great season. She placed second at state. Boys Cross Country was the first team in Liberty history to make it to state as a team. They placed 10th overall. And while they had much success on the course, the team agrees their favorite part is spending time together. John Kamba, sophomore, said the bonding with the team was his favorite part. He loved joking around and running together. The Liberty High School Marching Band, led by Mr. Art, finished a successful season with the Latin theme. This year, with all four classes at Liberty, the band grew in size and increased the complexity of the halftime show. Mr. Arp says that the kids have really done it on their own and made their own traditions. 